So I started off studying IT engineering and then moved to web video with CNBC and then TV with ET Now. While I was at ET Now, I was getting more and more into still photography. And at that point of time, my wife was like, I don't want you to be a grumpy 40 year old not having followed your passion. So just go and study photography. So I went and studied uh, at the Hallmark Institute of Photography in Massachusetts. And I got back in in 2010. And I think uh, 2011 was a really good year for me because my solo show Orgasm did uh, really, really well. So Orgasm is a series of sensual edgy abstracts that describes the pre, during and post coital experience. I mean, at least what it is in my head. So there's four different techniques we use for Orgasm. Uh, this was inks shot in water and there's a whole bunch of different shots that are ink in water but because they're lit differently, uh, they look very, very different. Intertwine is a sound sculpture from Orgasm. So the way this is shot is that there's a little laptop speaker underneath here with a balloon stretched across it. Acrylic paint is put in this case and the minute the sound is passed through the speaker, the balloon vibrates and the paint takes off. And depending on how soon after the sound you catch it, uh, that's the kind of shape you get. So arousal is a five piece show talking about the five senses that can get aroused. Uh, we've got uh, taste, smell, sound, touch and sight. So there's a whole bunch of steps to each of these pieces. I mean to take this for example, um, there's a flash going off that's freezing her face here. There's lights with all sorts of gels that's making the shapes behind. And then there's a guy and I'm running around with a torch behind him to kind of give a shadow silhouette figure. And that's how pretty much the figures in all three are made. I had a little more trouble with uh, arousal than I did orgasm. So arousal was figurative, was a little more in your face visually than orgasm was. Orgasm was a little racy theme wise, but the pictures were very calm and beautiful and could represent anything to the viewer. Uh, whereas arousal was a little more in your face. In fact, I had a very dramatic call with my mom where she called me a pornographer and slammed the phone down. Uh, my muse? Well, that's a pretty simple question to answer. It's Tara and my animals. Basically, the one bumbo in here. No, yeah. that's just cheesy. Okay. Come on. Uh, I mean, if you look at Tara, it's pretty easy to know <laughs> why I talk about sex. Oh, God. Uh, no, but seriously, I really think uh, sex is a subject that needs to be discussed openly um, in Indian society today. That is one of the main reasons why pretty much all my work is centered around uh, the joy of sex. The joy of sex, exactly.